Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm just getting loaded up. Uh, today I'm going to be testing, chef testing another rolls. It's the uh, Viscount model. The aluminium version. The only difference with this particular razor is that it's um, in a brand new condition and since it was made in the 1950s it's never been out of its box, never been used and I've done nothing to it to restore it, it really doesn't need it and I'm uh, just doing this, radio, uh, this video <laughs> for a new owner a new customer in England. So Lewis, if you are watching, this is what you're going to be getting in the post next week. This is the original box. In quite reasonable good condition. Uh, this is the spur blade, still with the original wrapper. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, using the original blade which is in the razor now for one half of my face, this half, and then the spur blade for the other half. Uh, she have tested both razors. So, there's your Viscount razor. i just get it out of the box. Um, there's this serial number on the edge and it shows the letter A. The A stands for aluminium. And in your box are all the instructions. All the original instructions there. Here. Oops. And here. Shows you how to operate. everything to do, all in brand new mint condition and there's a list of um, suppliers for this particular brand so I'll pop all those back in the case now so just going back to the razor to open the case, there's a button there, you just press that button and the lid pops up. It's still got the original protective paper inside and this is the leather strop which I've um, applied some red oxide paste. Uh, it's like an abrasive paste, slightly abrasive and it helps to um, sharpen the blade better. So there's the inside of the case, there's the original blade, I'm going to take out the handle, and to lift the blade from the case, you just turn it 90 degrees, like that, and it just comes straight off the spike, you can see the spike, there's the spike. I'll take it out of the wrapper and to load it up you just loosen the loosen the screw there on the handle 
slide it over the spine of the blade to get to the central position there and then just screw it up tight that's it nice and simple and just pop this case away for now so it doesn't drop in the sink I'll just refresh this lather a minute Now I was, go I, was, I was going to, I was tempted to just put it on one of my Thuringian stones. Just to see um, how far off the mark it was. But uh, instead I've, I've, uh, I've just dropped it on the leather strop that's in the case. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. So this is virtually straight factory finish I'm going with the ground first so there's no honing being done it's just straight as it was as it came out of the factory in the 1950s and I've just stropped it the first strop in and this is the first shave from a brand new blade. There's the blade. And now I'm going against the grain. If you notice I'm keeping the blade almost flat to the skin. You might be able to hear it cutting. That's completely smooth. That's just taken up a very tough four day growth. Just like you would with a straight razor, it's good to keep the skin stretched. And this way you, you're your skin is flat and the blade is flat. going to, uh, I'm just sculpting the tash at the moment so this is quite good for that purpose. So this blade, I've done the hanging hair test on it, Lewis, and uh, it will pop a hair, a human hair, anywhere down the length of the blade. And here, and what I'm doing is I'm actually using the corner of the blade just to sculpt the tack into a curl. Just use the corner and lift this end, lift that end off the face, and that end just
and the same again for the edge of the blade here I'm just using the, the actual corner here So that's one half of my face uh, shared with this uh, razor. So I'm going to swap it now for the spare blade and just do it in reverse. You unscrew the handle. Like that, then just slide the bar out. Get your spare blade, slide the handle to the middle position, and screw it in. Really dead simple. The blade you'll see there, you'll see the gaps on a rocker. The bar, you see the bar moving? That's perfectly normal, that's how it should be. It clicks into place. So with the grain again. Again stretching the skin. Just make sure your skin's flat. The actual blade is the same as you would get a straight razor, it's a wedge designed straight razor. The only difference is, is you've got a safety bar so you don't nick yourself. It's made from the best quality Sheffield steel. And it's an absolute joy to use. I really uh, highly recommend these razors. Just use short sharp strokes followed by long ones and they'll give you the perfect shave. Using the point again, just the, at the edge of the uh, blade here. Just 
to check the tash. So you can be quite accurate. It's quite a forgiving razor as well. It's um, you can be quite quick, you know, if you're in a rush, and you won't cut yourself. Unless you're really clumsy, you know. Far better than using uh, plastic blades. In my opinion, anyway. So there you have it. That's your spare blade, shape tested and ready for use. Now what I'm going to do with these, uh, the spare blade and the original blade is I'll be stropping them 30 laps. In fact I'll show you now. Um, I'll just open the case up. Take out the protective layers. Just bear with me a sec. So We've got the uh, leather strap here. I'm going to put the original blade, this is the original blade, on the spike. Ninety degrees, and then twist it. And then I'm going to strap this thirty times. Up and down is one tight, one lap, if you like. Now what this will do, will get rid of any uh, microscopic droplets of water that you can't see with the naked eye. And this will protect your blade. Take your blade off. I don't know if you can see the the spike. Yeah, you can see it there. Pop the blade on. Turn it ninety degrees, and just give it thirty laps. And that's all you have to do. And that, Lewis, will last you your lifetime if you look after it in that way. Okay, thanks very much for watching and good luck with your new razor.